Hello everybody, welcome into a satisfactory stream that is special. Hello Wrathful Prism, hello everyone else. Uh, we are playing in Experimental for the first time. Um, and and um, it is because today Experimental, uh, on the Experimental branch, Update 4 dropped finally. And uh, we can check it out. Maybe in multiplayer, maybe with our old world, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go in and see what happens. And uh, Naxdal, hello, welcome in. Um, yeah, I mean, first change that I notice is in addition to it being, it having this experimental build um, text here at the very beginning, is that um, it is also running in the new engine now, so I had to actually um, bring in a new capture of the of the game and everything. So who knows what happens? Why are you playing a sad trombone for this moment? Um, anyways, yeah. So uh, <laughs> experimental build. Yes. Um, hmm. I guess let's just. I haven't actually read the patch notes, so I don't know what is actually in the game. Um, I didn't watch uh, the the um, stream that was running, and uh, it's probably still running. Um, so I don't really know all, all that much what's going on. But let's see if we can even load into um, the old world here. Or if we need to start from scratch. It is loading it up. Um, everything seems to be working. Although... Um, we need to... Well... It, it kind of depends on whether, like, changes to the terrain or something have happened, because I don't know about that. Uh, this is the first, like, major update that, uh, that has been in the game, so I don't know if that happens. Oh, there's a lot of tearing. I usually don't notice that, but there's, like, huge amounts of tearing here. What's up with the graphical systems here? I mean, of course, they are all dropped down to... Nothing... Bring in V-Sync. Right, because it doesn't matter if it drops down to 60 FPS, that is fine, because that's what you, you're getting on the stream anyway. Uh, I lost my sub. What? Uh... I guess let's see if there's anything new in here. No, doesn't seem like it. Oh, well, maybe look in here. In the hub, is there any new research to be done? No. Are there any new recipes? <laughs> because if there aren't any new recipes, then I'm gonna guess that we do have to start from scratch, which is unfortunate because I did go and uh, build the whole nuclear power plant thing. It doesn't seem like we actually have anything here. Yeah. Everything is 
as it was. And like, we can't do any new things here and yeah, I think what we have to actually do is load up a new game. Look at the skate park. It's it's the same as last time. <laughs> There's nothing new there. Um, yeah, I guess. Okay, well, that that that's that then. We have to. Um, I did make a hard save of this, so um, so it's fine. We can return to this then. Um, I guess we have to start a new. I, I didn't even check that whether uh, you are able to start start the new uh, game there, but I suppose not. Um, I mean, we're checking out the update things now, so let's let's focus on that. I guess let's um let's go with grass fields maybe. Finish him. Sure, let's go with grass fields. Um, wait, what? This is five, I think, right? Yeah. Five. And, um, let's skip the intro. And it is open. I, I don't necessarily see anything <laughs> anything new yet. Um, let me get down to hub and we'll see. We'll see uh, if there's anything here. First of all, nothing new here. I mean, it is specifically saying that this is the new <laughs> experimental. Do you actually have to just like go into the higher phases to get anything? Well, that's unfortunate. I thought that we would actually get to some new stuff here. I mean, we will probably. Uh, we just need to get to the initial setup. Hmm. Where are we even? <laughs> Where is this? Here's some iron. Uh, like somehow I'm I'm not recognizing this spot though. Here we have some impure iron. Let's head up north to the edge here. This is the area I'm most familiar with. Here we have copper. Ah, yeah, here, here we are. This is the the place to build in. Equip the zapper and zap some stuff. Hmm. Hmm. I suppose we just have to build then. Let me just, uh, I'm going to verify that this is actually, it, this is actually the right version. Um, let's see. That is factory.
Let's see. Because I was expecting there to be something new in the very beginning as well. I know there's it's there's like a bunch of machines going on. <laughs> I'm I'm going to turn those <laughs> sound effects off soon. Um The satisfactory page isn't updating. Let's see. Nope, can't find any in like update. There, there was they. I I think they're supposed to be patch notes somewhere. I mean, they are in the menu, so maybe we'll go go into that. Yeah, let's just let's just check that. So um, let me make a save here, and uh, let's go back to the main menu and check that. No, don't open it in. No, oh no. Oh, they released it in on Reddit. That's that's the preferred method of releasing. Patch notes. Alright, let me get this open then for everybody here. Um, engine update. YouTube? No, I don't need a YouTube video right now. Um, wait. No, that's one month ago. Why are they linking to... They're linking to the old patch notes. That doesn't help me. Do we have new patch notes here then? Yes. No. This is 13 days ago. This one. Yeah. Update for... Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's see if it's saying anything about creating a new world. It's 146871. Let's check the... I, I think it actually says it in the menu as well, but I'll just open up the main game here. It says... 145609. What? This isn't even the... So it didn't actually update it to, to, to the right version. Huh? Yeah, now it's queuing an update. Thanks, team. It actually updated it to the old one. Uh, that would explain something. So let's... I think it just updated it to, like, the engine update, so... I guess we'll let that update in the background. Hopefully it won't take long since it already downloaded the experimental version. Uh, one version of it. Let's see. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. But I guess we can uh, look through some of these patch notes then. Just to kind of know what's going on. Although, no. Because I don't want to... I don't want to find out. <laughs> That's the... That's the um, main reason why I haven't checked them out yet, so... Uh, I guess we're just waiting. <laughs> we're just waiting for an update. And here I was waiting before the stream for this to update. Let me bring, bring us into this then, I guess. Failed update. Then again, that's what you get when you... When you, um... When you start a stream at the very same moment that the 
whole thing is supposed to drop. But here it is updating. Slowly but surely. Uh, it's a 1.48 gigabytes of updating. That's quite something. But like I specifically waited until it was after the hour when they said that it was going to be updated. And um, even on the stream, I didn't, I didn't actually watch the stream, but I just checked it to make sure that they have the countdown for the right time. And um, I, I, so, so I waited until that, and then I said, said to Steam, update to experimental, and then it started running it, and um, nothing happened. But it's coming in pretty fast. Uh, it's jumping every now and then. It's jumping five percent, and then it's waiting for a few moments again. I guess I don't have that much to drink, so I'm gonna go and grab grab something more to drink while it downloads. Um, it won't take long, so I'll just be a be real quick. Right, 91%. 95%. 96. What's it to jump into then? 99. And then it's going to ha hang on 100 for a moment. Probably. Yep. So it's waiting at 100 now. One hundred percent. So apparently, I've played three hundred and twenty-one hours of of uh, satisfactory since the Steam release. Um, I got it right at the uh, right when it got released on Steam. So since then, um, since then, I've uh, played three hundred twenty-one hours of it. Pretty good. I mean, I've played almost half of that <laughs> of Valheim in one month, but uh, still pretty good. Considering we really only play it once a month nowadays, and uh, well, oh, sorry, once a week nowadays, and then I usually do some idling uh, between the streams as well, so we collect some resources. It's really hanging on that 100%. Steam likes to do some background stuff when it hits, hits like 100% and then like it actually starts like installing files and such. After it uh, downloads it. It is taking strangely long though, but... Maybe. Maybe. 
Come on, Steam. Come on. You can do it. Steam and Satisfactory. I also have a Windows update waiting. But um I won't I won't do that right now. Oh yeah, and there was actually a uh a graphics card update as well, but um or driver update, but I think I can probably manage without that as well for this stream. Although if everything explodes, then I'll I'll know that oh, I probably need to update my my graphics card's driver. It's really hanging on that 100% for a long time here. We don't even have the satisfactory bops here in the background. I need to prep up some some sort of like usually usually there's no need because there's the game audio in the background but some sort of uh extra audio. Like I don't have a, for example, we we used pretzel some time ago, but we have it ready now. Updating, updating. Mm-hmm. One of these days, it'll be ready. I could try and hit pause and play again, but I feel like that's going to be a bad idea. Committing and finalizing. There we go. Now it's ready. Let's launch it. And then I guess let's try again back in the old world and see if that works. And I guess then we need to start a new new world if that doesn't work. But it should work, right? Oh, aha, we have a new menu. New menu thing. Whatever this is. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, so, let's um, load up 244 then. It's a bit loud. I think the audio settings may have changed a little bit. With the update. Loading, loading. Um, options, audio, I'll just drop the master volume, not that much. I think I've had it at like 8 or 5 anyway. Probably, probably good. Oh wait, their graphical settings are certainly, yep, <laughs> it's, it's gone ultra. I mean, I guess we can go with ultra um if it works if it dies it dies um it's going windowed full screen and everything which actually means it's uh, gonna be a little bit too big the capture here so i need to uh change that a little bit um but let's see let's limit um frames to 260 because again that's what you're getting But I guess we can otherwise let it be as it is. Well, let me just real quick um, fix the gameplay capture here. Looking at satisfactory, it is a little bit too big. Stretch it there and then lock it in. And there we go. All right, so let's try again. Let's try again. Um, hub terminal. Tier 8. There we go. Nuclear power? Oh no! <laughs> I just built this. Um, does that mean that our nuclear power plant is not working? Because that sounds like a bad thing. Um, 
There doesn't seem to be anything new in the lower tiers, at least like any new, completely new research options. Aeronautical engineering. Drone? Oh, there are new things. They've just been up uh, researched for us already. Um, let's see then. Let's see if there's anything here. In the previous tiers. So far, everything is pretty much as you'd expect. I do assume it uh, focuses on the final levels anyway. Oxide. Here we have Blender. The Blender is capable of blending fluids and combining them with solid parts in various processes. Headlift 10 meters. So... Does it have conveyor belt and pipe inputs and outputs just on one side or two sides? Like, is it... Is it a... I guess... Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, aluminum casing is also something new. And then... Uh, packaged sulfuric acid. This is actually something that I was... Uh, I was looking for uh, when I was building the nuclear power plant because um, it has the overflow of, of sulfuric acid and I didn't really know what to do with it so it's just in some overflow tanks right now. But that's good so that you can now do that. Drone. Has to be built on a drone port. Transports available input back and forth between its home and destination port. Requires batteries as fuel based on travel distance. Refuels at any port if able. Drone status and other details are shown on its home drone port. Inventory size 9 slots. So, I don't know where drones come in. I guess they are probably going to be easier for, to, to use than trains, I, I, I assume. Uh, drone port. Drone ports can be assigned one other port as their transport destination. Uh, so they are paired. Um, each drone port can contain a single drone, which transports available input back and forth between its home and destination port. The drone port interface provides delivery details and allows management of port connections. Alright, so... Yeah, you, you do one one to one, but I guess you can have two drones. So one per port. Assembly Director System. Project parts for... Project part number six. Ship with the Space Observatory or complete uh, project parts. Extremely fast and precise computing system is specifically designed to direct the project assembly. Assembly phase. Ooh, they are assembling it now. Uh, then we have nuclear power, which is... Um, we have a new thing here, the magnetic field generator. Uh, for the project. It's a project part. Um, advanced aluminum production. So we have some of this as well. Like we have heat sink production. But then resource well pressurizer. Can be placed on resource well to activate it by pressurizing the underground resource. Once activated resource well extractors can be placed on the surrounding sub nodes to extract the resource. It requires power. Overclocking increases the output potential of the entire resource well. Resource well in, in uh, extractor. Uh, normal extraction rate is 60 fluid per minute, cubic meters. Um, can be placed on the activated sub nodes of a resource well to collect the pressurized resources. Does not require power. Water well, oil well, nitrogen gas well. Empty fluid tank. Used to package gases and volatile liquids for transportation. Wait, how does this. Oh, it's for the nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas package for alternative transport. Heating sink, uh, cooling system used to keep temperatures of advanced parts and buildings from exceeding the inefficient levels. Then we have the fused modular frame, corrosion resistant nitride hardened, highly robust yet lightweight modular frame, which we saw already um, during Fixmas. Cover pack. 
Power consumption 100 megawatts. Allows for vertical movement and hovering midair to improve building efficiency and factory traversal. Wirelessly connects to nearby power connections, such as power poles and buildings for power consumption. Aha! Very nice. Very nice. And uh, more inventory slots. Leading edge production. Turbo motors are here. And minor mark trees. We already have minor mark trees. Oh, what is this? Um, thermal propulsion rocket a project part. So this is technically not giving us anything new uh, other than the project part. And then particle enrichment. Nitric acid. Produced by a reaction of nitrogen gas with water. Its high corrosiveness and oxidizing properties make it an excellent choice for refinement and fuel production processes. Uh, packaged nitric acid. Packaged. Non-fissile uranium. The isotope uranium-238 is non-fissile, meaning it cannot be used for nuclear fission. Uh, it can, however, be conversed into fissile plutonium in the particle accelerator. Portion mildly radioactive. So is that nuclear waste? Uh, plutonium pellets produced in the particle accelerator through conversion of non-fissile uranium. Used to produce encased plutonium cells for plutonium fuel rods. Um, moderate radioactive. Encased plutonium cell. Uh, concrete encases of plutonium pellets. This is basically the same system as uh, nuclear fuel rods. Uh, produce nuclear plutonium waste when consumed highly radioactive. Uh, the fixed particle accelerator uses electromagnetic fields to propel particles to very high speeds and energies. The specific design allows for a variety of processes such as matter generation and conversion. Our usage is extremely high, unstable and varies per recipe. Um, what are you? What, what are you doing? Copper powder. Ground down copper ingots. The high natural density of copper combined with the granularity of the powder makes this part fit for producing nuclear pasta in the particle accelerator. Uh, the what now? Pressure conversion cube. Converts outgoing force into internal pressure required for, to con contain unstable high energy matter. Nuclear pasta. Project part number nine. Cube with a shape space elevator. Nuclear pasta is extremely dense degenerate matter formed when extreme pre pressure forces protons and electrons together into neutrons. It is theorized to exist naturally within the crust of neutron stars. Is it? Is that a real thing? I mean... I don't know. I mean, I suppose... Do, do we have... Like, like, is the nuclear power plant working? That's a big question. <laughs> Does it work? Okay. Do we have anything new here? Do I have... A, nope. Uh, do we have anything new here? We do. Zip line. Let's get a cable. Yes, please. Zip line. Very, very much. Please, please. I feel like the UI is too big. It's supposed to be smaller. Feels, feels too big. Hmm. Maybe it's too small now, though. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Zipline. Yes. Uh, then we have power switch. Hmm. Power poles. Geothermal generator. Um. And that's actually the only new thing. So ziplines and also power switches. We'll get the power switches as well. Um. Alright, is there anything new in the awesome shop? Um, we don't have any walls, any new attachments, no, no new foundation pieces, no new vehicles. Organization. Lights. Oh. Oh, <laughs> this is interesting. I was expecting lights. 
Uh, statues, no new statues. Then we have just you can buy the. Yeah, nothing, nothing new here. In parts, there's nothing new, I guess, because it's just the parts that we can get anyway. All right, so we actually need um, one more ticket to get all the lighting. Um, I need to make an awesome sink. I need a little bit of concrete for that. I've used up all of the concrete in this region. What is this? Oh, color cartridge. I did... I'm pretty sure that changed the icon for that. I don't feel like that's the same as it was. Um, don't have any over here. Gotta get that um, drone thing. Have a pack. Or whatever. Oh, I suppose while I'm going out to grab some stuff, uh, let's see what the next thing is. Uh, can we go for the hover pack? Can we? No, we need a cooling system first. Um, yeah, but I want to check first. <laughs> Do we need... Like, things seem to be working, so... I would assume that we don't need to... Ah, I don't have enough for this either. Where's the closest? Maybe you can now now check these? Nope. Where's the closest pole? Over here. Finally! Finally they've added. Like, I want to just, like, zoom out of this, but at least they've added max consumption. Production and capacity. Interesting. I'm not sure what the difference between those two are. But yeah, we are under our maximum consumption, although I'm not sure what the maximum consumption actually shows. Where is that number coming from? Is that if every machine is on at the same time? So it would be kind of strange to imagine that we would have like double consumption in that case, but perhaps. Perhaps. Um, so no need to do the nukes right now because there's nothing really we need from there. Um, I'm just going to grab... Something else might have needed some concrete anyway. So I'm just going to grab that. Let's see if the MAM research is done for the zip line. Not quite. Close to it though. Um, yeah, I wanted it for the awesome sink, because we need to, we need to, uh, check the thing, uh, wire too long. Let's try again, awesome sink, and in there. Let's have a new coupon. There we go. And let's buy some lights. Oh, it also actually has information on these things now. Ceiling lights are the perfect choice for indoor illumination. Simply attach them to ceilings, pick up power, and watch your conveyor belts shine bright even in the darkest of factories. Can be placed on ceilings to light up indoor factory spaces. Light color can intensity can be modified. Allows up to two power line connections. Oh, that's actually quite handy. So it, it also works as a power outlet. Oh, nice. Um, it costs quartz crystals to build. I mean, I guess that makes sense. So let's add that. Um, light control panel. Useful for sectioning and modifying many lights at once. Controls all lights connected to the power grid attached to the light power connector. Other control panels and power switches interrupt the connection. Alright. Add that. 
floodlights specifically designed to illuminate outdoor areas. The floodlights are the perfect choice for lighting up construction sites or outposts. Their height makes them tower over even the largest of buildings, and for additional convenience the wall, wall version can be placed on any wall for indoor settings or if more precise light placement is required. A tall light tower specifically designed for illuminating a large or outdoor space. Light color and the intensity can be modified allows up to two power line connections. So I think that's mostly just like the power line, two, two power line connections just kind of means that it's a throughput. But still, still, that's that's nice. Uh, street light. No more nighttime related walkway accidents involving trucks and poor lighting conditions. Light up those pathways and roads using the fixed street lights. A small street light, perfect for light, perfect for lighting up factory pathways and roads. Light color and intensity can be modified. Add that and let's buy it all. All right. Um, do I have any quartz already refined? Um, perhaps in here. Nope. That's unfortunate. All right. Zip line finished, and then we can do the power switch as well. Oh, uh, we need some steel beams and AI limiters. I think AI limiters are being produced here as well. As well as steel beams. Or steel beams are being brought in here. Um, let's see now. AI limiters would be produced over here. Oh okay, yeah, we're not producing enough uh, copper sheet. That's a big thing. Apparently also not enough wire. The copper factory can't hold up. Uh, yeah, this is producing AR Liberty. Oh, this whole thing is uh, copy and paste settings. Thank you. Thank you. This uh, has got a little bit of an update. Not not too much. A little update. Um, let's see if they have any... Yep. We can just grab the AR limiters from here. <clears throat> I need a 50, I think. So I actually don't have all that many. Might have to just add craft this because indeed it's requires more of the cup sheet. Grab some cat wire from here. So we also have the new uh, new types of nodes then. Look into those. Uh, let me just double check. It is indeed 50. Oh, we do have the recipe for this. So I, I guess because it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit confused. The game is a little bit confused about what's going on. Um, oh yeah, I need this as well. Two hundred and fifty. Let's start smashing. So the zip line sounds quite useful. I assume it only goes one way. You can't like zip upwards. I mean, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Lara Croft can do it, so why not? But I kind of assume that it's only like one way. Still quite cool. Um, I, I feel like I'd rather use that than the... Depends on how it works, but I would probably rather use that than um, the uh, usually landing pad. I had getting stuck in the jelly. Although I suppose the U jelly is more for like vertical landings and um, this is more for 
slightly more like horizontal travel. Uh, do we have any steel beams in here? Nope. Give me steel beams. There we go. Yeah, that's a five minute research as well. So let's see now. Uh, we have our first new thing. What would it be? Transportation? Oh, we can actually build the drones. And drone ports. Huh? Why? How? <laughs> How can I do that already? We didn't research it, did we? Or was it an old research? What's going on with the game? Um, clearly it's not. Is it organization then? Uh, here's the lights. Or is it an... Is it equipment? Oh. That would change things. No? Wait. Did I just... No, it is here. The zip line. Oh, of course. Of course, it's not It's not a zip line. It's power lines. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, provides fast traversal in factories by allowing pioneers to zip along power lines. Activate the zip line to, and aim at a nearby power line to connect to it. Of course. Uh, Alright, so we need a... We need a zapper. Uh, I need some iron rods. Uh, just some basic rods. Let's see if we got any here. There's a few. I doubt that that's going to be enough for everything we need, but we're going to at least create the zapper first. And we can make a, make a zip line out of that then. Alright, let's uh, equip that. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I mean, I don't have too many, like, Oh, I was running around here. Um, guess we can test it out over here. Aim and... No? Jump on it? Yes, okay, you need to be a little bit closer. Can I like... Oh. Oh. It's uh, <laughs> not quite... Alright, here we go. Oh, I got stuck. Hmm. All right. Well, this is this 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 factory is clearly not designed to be zipped around with the with the zip line, but I imagine that'll be that can actually be used quite nicely if if uh, the factory is sort of built around it, which I think actually makes it so that it's better to have regular power poles. No. Let's check it out here by the long pole. Or long power line here. It's not terribly fast. Oh, and it also does stop at power poles. Uh, also, I can't change. Okay, you need to let go, then you jump. Ah, maybe actually, ah, maybe this is a skill thing. Let's see. If I, like, go in here and then I'll let go as I look that way. Then I can hook up to, nope. Again. Nope, 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 nope. I feel like this is probably, probably doable. Nope. Is it? No, the jump goes the way that I'm letting, or, or the way I'm traveling, unless, maybe if I can... Alright, yeah, I think I, I might be able to do this, let's see. Well, <laughs> didn't, didn't grab on to the other one, but other than that, yeah. I feel like this could also be made for some sort of minigame. Ah, it's not, not quite, quite as easy as you think. There we go. All right, so with a little bit of practice, you'd be able to uh, zip around with this pretty well. 
Again, it's not like terribly fast, but I suppose like nothing in the game so far has been terribly fast. Like even the trains don't move that fast compared to how fast you run. Alright, pretty, pretty nice. This is actually something, I don't know if I've said it on stream, but this is something that I've certainly wanted to be in the game. And specifically on power lines, because that's like, you already have this zipline system in, in place, so why not? Yee! That's awesome. Alright, well, let's go and do the next thing then I guess we will do and go and go and do some research if we already have the drones then maybe just go for the go for the other thing for pulse, pulse which I think sounds quite quite self-explanatory can be switched on off um, yeah it's got an a B connection so so this allows you to actually, like, sequester power grids, which is quite nice. Um, or, like, divide your power grids into, into like, specific sections. Uh, so nuclear power doesn't... we don't need that. But we do need advanced aluminum production first. Um, so let's start doing that. Um, Let's see if we can buy those radio control units, because I don't think we can... I, th I don't think we are making them anyway yet. Um, let's see. Parts, parts, parts. Radio control units, yes. 7450. Oh! We are missing one. Well, we might be needing some of, some of the others anyway. Um, also, I don't know about that aluminum casing. I suppose we're not producing it, because we're producing the the sheets uh, which are being brought back in um, not this level but the level no wait is it this level are those heat sinks yes uh, they are being brought in here yeah so we can collect the aluminum sheets from here um, but what are these casings then I'm gonna go and uh, grab a pack of aluminum sheets from the train station. Couple of those. Whoop. Firstly, I suppose... Well, I need to know the recipe for this casing. Um... It's just aluminum ingots. Okay, so aluminum ingots are being turned into do two things. Aluminum casing and aluminum sheets. And we only have the sheets here. So, there's that. Uh, we're going to need 3,000 wire. Um, should have that here. One, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, the radio control units need to be made as well. Where were the ones with the quartz? I fear they were the quartz ones. Radio control unit. Yeah, nope. Aluminum crystal oscillators. Oh. Still don't have anything that creates those. Oh, no. How much are they? Four for one hundred. I'm buying it. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Crystal oscillators. Um. Uh. But then we need. Oh, we need to actually pick it up from this. Uh. Wait. Here we go. Purchases. Um. Radio control unit requires then aluminum casing. So we need those ingots in here. Um, three to two. So we need twelve. So 
so 36. Yeah, 36 uh, aluminum ingots for that. But I guess I'll go and pick up a bunch more. So yeah, I guess we'll go and... Um, I mean, what does the drone stuff require? Because we could set up, try to set up like a drone port between these. Ah, it does require a little bit more, more stuff. Yeah, these are quite heavy on the Caterium stuff, which isn't too surprising. Drone port is actually quite large now to look at it. Yeah, that's interesting. We could create some sort of like drone based logistic system instead of a train based one. Which probably gives you a little bit more flexibility in how you build it in the first place. Right, well, let's make our way over to the aluminum factory then. Hold on. It says one out of five zipline. Why would I want to have more than one zipline? That is strange. Also, I guess I want to have um, Blade Runners for this run. I don't have any new scans to make. So, one thing I do wonder is if they have changed some sort of um, location of a node or something, could that break something in the factory? Ah, one thing that I know that is broken in the factory is actually the steel, um, steel part here. Uh, because, yeah, it's not... <laughs> it's not working. These trains get confused and then they get stuck on this area. So I wouldn't actually say no to the idea of just, uh, of just, come on, move, of um, scrapping the trains and just <laughs> switching over to a drone-based uh, system instead. Nobody's picked up this. Power slug, it's just been sitting here forever. I don't know, I, I think it's because um, if both of the trains end up at the station at the same time, then they get confused um, because they need to wait and there's not really enough room here, so then they sort of just start stop, stop in a weird way. Here's the aluminum. Woo. Double train. Things are looking busy around here. I wonder if it can pick up the, the hovercraft, if it can pick up power from rails as well. So... So this is uh, this is luckily overproducing some aluminum ingots now, but I, I I suppose we have to we have to cut this in half. Preferably, we would probably just like get some bauxite, but I think we need to cut that in half. Um. So we have production for those casings as well. Because it seems like we're going to be needing a lot of them. Mm, 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 mm. This is quite tightly built. Um, I guess for now instead though. Let's have it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, we don't necessarily need to do a cut. Uh, let me look at these numbers. It's uh, 114. 114 on this assembler. Uh, get it over here. Guess I'll just move this. Assembler at 114. Um, connected to this port. Let's just give it a little bit more space here. And these are this mark. So I'll give it a 114. Overclock still. But um, it's not actually going to be getting that much. Because then um, we also have. I guess a constructor? I guess pointed this way like this, which is then doing aluminum casing. And then we'll just split off this and just like steal whatever we can into that one. And then this continues again over here. Oh, I don't have enough uh, for this. I mean, it's not producing that much, so we can just do a do a smaller belt piece here. Yeah, and then this one is going to go into hopefully a storage container. Just a regular. No, can't even afford that one. Um, I can probably steal from these conveyor poles. Poles. we can at least do like one like so and so it's gonna be producing wait 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 what was that huh Looked like it had placeholder textures on it. Oh, it does. Or something. That doesn't look quite right. Uh, so we need a hundred of these. But I do have aluminum ingots as well, so we can just go and... Um, we can handcraft that. No problem. Uh, so let me just leave that there, and we'll grab a train back home. This is the aluminum sheet train, so it will take us back to base. So I feel like what we probably should do is do like a new game plus action. Maybe. Like, we could... We could go out to... Like, the green... The plains or something like that. Um, and... We could just, like... Have the technology we have right now. And... And, and uh, build a new there. Uh, so we can... We can build using all of the advanced... Stuff without kind of having to... Repurpose the current structure because uh, it is it is getting harder and harder to whoa it's getting harder and harder to be able to like do anything here all right so radio control units oh first the uh, first 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 we need to create these casings. They are pretty quick to to craft, though. That's nice. Um, I don't think the aluminum ingots themselves are going to be needed for anything else, so we can probably just turn all of these into casings. 
Do we have enough casings, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need 132 for, for this particular milestone. those in and then the uh, radio control in six what oh it's 24 for one what was I thinking yeah we're gonna need a whole lot of these aluminum casings for these radio control units um, is there anything else we can do in the meantime I wonder uh, again, this was all, all done. Hmm. Not sure if, if, if we can. But yeah, that actually, that, that um, interests me as a concept. That we would just, like, go out to a new area on the map and just kind of start from scratch, but with our advanced equipment. Perhaps. Um, we could go as far as to like sink this whole place, but I don't know about that. Perhaps, perhaps. Um, I guess we need to go back to the aluminum factory and just get those casings there then. So we're going to need uh, 24 times 25. Hold up. Uh, 24 times 25 would be uh, 600. We need 600 casings for this. All together. And a little extra wouldn't hurt. So I guess let's just go back then. And get those going. Hmm. If we are going to be starting from scratch, I think what would be great would be to then um, also go out and just like uh, get a ton of these um, parts done so we have even more advanced uh, like alternative recipes for doing things. deal we could we could even like hook it up to this power grid uh, so we could have um, nuclear power powering it all up from the very beginning and quite a lot of nuclear power in fact mm, it's not actually running at full capacity right now it's just so it doesn't produce more nuclear waste I'm not sure if that really works that way out though um, but anyways it's not it's not uh, producing at full capacity right now it's got six uh, nuclear generators, but it's only using up uh, two right now. So we have quite a lot of headroom there. Uh, let's just grab. Why scrap? I mean, this can be actually overclocked. So it's producing enough for both. So this is using up... Um, 34.2 aluminum ingots per minute. Wait, that sounds that sounds like the recipe's changed. Anyways, this is 34.2 aluminum ingots. Um, 34. Yeah, it's definitely changed because this is set to 51. 34.2, and this is using 90 per minute. So. Uh, Well, if we just like overclock it to full, 
Oh yeah, it's, it's not gonna have enough aluminum scrap for this, but uh, I guess we can just let it run uh, right now for as fast as it can and then ease it down from that. That'll get us some more aluminum casings. What did I say? I said 600. That's quite a lot. Quite a lot. So I can zip around. Do some zip line training. Whoop. Like, this can be kind of dangerous if your factory isn't, um... Your factory sometimes, like... Isn't gonna be quite so safe to zip around in. Oh, I suppose you can also probably just, like, smack into a pole and then just switch. Yeah. No need to necessarily do a cool jump. But then again, it's a cool jump, so why not? Woo! The range of this isn't the greatest, though. Property- oh! No, 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 no. I don't want to fight you. Not want to fight you. Wait a minute. Not- You can't reach the power line from here. And then it just ends up doing this. Oh, you can kind of do it. Even if it goes into that glitchy, glitchy thing. Huh. Alright, alright. Looking good. Um, this is still using up all of the aluminum ingot it's getting. This definitely isn't being used up at all. Oh, uh, well, it would actually have... It has some more in here, so... Yeah, I guess it's probably actually using up uh, some of that extra stuff, but... Uh, we do have a bunch of raw quartz here as well. So I could just... Um, while we wait, I could pack this into some of that refined quartz. Although, 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 I do realize we probably don't have the stuff for a crafting bench right now. Some more. Just taking these down. Need to pick up a stack of iron plates back at home. We can start smacking some quartz crystals while we wait. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll like we'll leave this factory to just be um, and just like continue producing nuclear power and we'll bring a line from here a power line and then maybe like grab inventory full of stuff that we might need and then just start from scratch does make sense like maybe we should first have this place actually produce those really advanced parts for us so we could for example we could try to see what like a fully fully drone-based logistic system looks like in this game. Um, like, it works in, Satis uh, in Factorio, but how well would it work in this game, though? That's the question. We 
have the quartz crystals, but um, we need night time as well to test these out. I mean, it'll, it'll also be interesting to see what they look like in, in uh, normal light. Also notice that one. Quartz crystal. Not sure we're gonna sit here for what? 200. 200 more production cycles. The stuff is so slow. And then trying to turn this into crystal oscillators. Yeah, that's just. just that's just bad. Wait a minute. Got a stack of Caterium ore. I have some limestone and some uh, sulfur here in my inventory. Probably not the most useful things to carry around. Throw those out. Don't need the biomass. So the drones also require you to have a production of batteries, a constant production of batteries. I wonder how far a drone can go with one battery. See how it's doing over here. We're up to... sort inventory. We're up to... almost 200. I mean, I guess we can start um, doing them here. What are the uh, radio control units? They're 34. Oh, we need more um, more computers. Yeah, let's just uh, create the ones we've got here right now. And then we'll go and uh, grab the rest of the casings and head on back home to get the computers. Twenty four ticks for this one. You do get two for one though, but still, that's a long craft time. Two hundred and forty ticks more. And that's just what we can produce right now. So it got, it got stuck on crafting when I let it go. Nope, didn't do it anymore. Must have been some sort of glitchy glitch. Maybe because I was clicking into other things. Aha! Pro tip. Hold down space bar. Then, I guess, move something in your inventory. I don't know, maybe you can just, like, click... Yeah, you can just click somewhere with your left mouse button, and then it just stays down, apparently. I don't know if this was a thing before, or if it just sort of manifested itself in the most recent update. But that is a thing you can do. Now let's grab these. I'll also throw the... Didn't I have some ingots? I guess I threw them in the trash. Fourth train. Oh, sheet train. Ooh, just caught it. Just made it on. Oh, wait, that's not the sheet train. Oh, it's the bauxite train. Uh, no, no, wait, no. I. I oh I okay I was I was 
both right and wrong. It was the box I trained, but also that was not where I was supposed to jump off. Zzz. Whoa, no, 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 I don't have my... I don't have my jetpack on. <coughs> Maybe I should put it on so I stop falling off things. Can I make it? Nope. I'll make it over here though. Why am I not using this? E. So I think you do probably want to let go of the wire when you're hitting something where you want to keep going forward. Can you just like ride it upwards? Uh, it's not attaching me to it. Oh, I can stand on this. Yeah, I guess you can't you can't zip line vertically. Which would have actually been one of the would have been a pretty great thing if you were able to do that because then you could do zip line elevators. Apparently not. Uh, let's go grab some computers. Again, I never remember what level they are on, so they are on the next one. Computer manufacturer. Grab a stack of that. And then do some more hand crafting. Magic. No need to hold down your spacebar anymore with with some sort of item. So I do think like some recipes have changed. So with that in mind as well, I guess we probably should just start from scratch, uh, because it's not it's not necessarily going to be working the way, way we think. Alright, let's send it out. Hey, it's not fixed this anymore. Advanced aluminum production. Oh, it's got the total parts received here. Miles hey, the parts back. The object scanner can now find underground wells, which can be pressurized to extract resources such as nitrogen, water, and oil. Nitrogen will contribute to more advanced aluminum parts. Mm -hmm. So, the cooling system is what we need right now. Oh, and a hundred more of these radio control units. Why? Uh, but cooling system, let's see. Cool... Nope. Can I not handcraft one? Cooling system. Ah, it requires water and nitrogen gas. So... We do need nitrogen... We need to get nitrogen gas now and a blender. Heat sinks, rubber, water, and nitrogen gas becomes a cooling system. Um, I guess let's see if we have any nitrogen gas around. Bing. Uh, 
Not looking too good. Ping. Pong. Two kilometers away. Where is that? It is, um... It's further away from the Bork site. There's also one over there. I did hear another ping somewhere, but... Going up on the map. Over here. I guess let's go to the aluminum scrap and just see. Um, I suppose what we can do is take power there and also that... Um, so we need a resource well pressurizer. And then we need some resource well extractors. Uh, so we need some plastic in here. I think I saw plastic in, in these crates. Nope. No plastic. Well, I'll grab it from the train. Um, we need encased industrial beams, we need motors, and we need rubber. Also grab a cable pack or two. Need those basic iron rods and iron plates. From over here. Rubber, plastic, and then encased industrial beam. Rubber, plastic. And encased industrial beams, which I think are done in here. Oh, but are they all being used up? No. Is this even on? Why is it not on? Oh, we're full on heavy module frames. Well, that's a good problem to have. Uh, but here, yeah, now we can do the pressurized... Well, no, we need motors still. Um, so I don't need to throw something else out as well. motor and then we have uh, power as well so we're gonna need to bring it to a blender but I'm not sure if we need to <coughs> it'll probably be, be simplest to just lay pipe that comes back from the extractor for that I suppose let's Grab some sheet and a little bit more plastic and see if that maybe works out. Oh! I think copper sheet used to only stack to 100, but now it stacks to 200. Interesting change. Um, yeah, just go and grab a plastic and then we'll go to the box site and adventure on from there. Imagine it might be easiest to just pipe the nitrogen instead of bringing in a train for it or something like that. Uh, the bauxite is actually this way, so we can ride the zip line. Instead of running there. Let's see how well I can catch on to it. Yeah, so you should be able to just like fall 
I wonder how. Let's let's do a do a test here. If I just like jetpack as high as I can, which isn't too high. But yeah, you can just then just grab onto it. Yeah, for this you do need to let go when you're going over these. And then I suppose like round and... Is that a power pole mark 2 there in the middle? It's passing power through. I guess this is a pretty nice way of traveling. It's gonna be especially nice for any sort of like vertical travel. Or almost like vertical travel. Very nice. Very nice. While we are here... Let's try a floodlight. Oh, it's got a... It's got an arrow for the... Wait, it gave me like two... What am I doing? Oh, you're picking... Okay. Okay. Wait, what is this? Oh. Is this a... Oh, is this a new thing? I don't think this has been in the game, hopefully. So you now... If you press E while you've got some sort of recipe on, it gives you, like... Similar recipes. That's cool. Right, let's uh, let's do a test here. I need a power line for testing purposes. All right. Well, that's a that's a floodlight. I think this this line is perhaps a little bit too harsh. I mean, it's fr from a gameplay perspective, it's very clear, but, like, as a graphical thing, it's maybe a little bit too harsh. But, yeah, that does, that does, um, brighten up the area quite a bit. So that's a floodlight tower. Then ceiling lights, which I guess we can't really use because we don't have a ceiling here. I mean, I can just build one real quick. Mm. Give me a wall. Wall, wall. Foundation. Oh, the ceiling light is actually... Wait, I mean, how big is it? It's like four foundations big. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. At this... At this range, it is um, pretty, pretty overkill. I mean, at least it's uh, bright, if nothing else, but... Right. Um, and then there was the street light. How does the street light differ from the floodlight? I guess it's just gonna be... ...not so harsh. Yeah. Right. So I guess, um, what you probably want to do is when just like passing power from one area to another rather than using just power poles for that you'd use street lights instead if you have the uh, resources for that yeah that's pretty pretty pleasant light right there okay i like that Approved. <clears throat> and this is probably not going to bauxite. Let's grab the power from the bauxite train station. 
and take it towards the nitrogen. Hopefully it's higher than uh, the terrain where it's heading off to. Like they've added new sounds as well. Let's check nitrogen gas. I need to create a power line here. Go, sure, why not? Uh, it is this way at 840 meters. Fair fair amount of distance here, yeah, but... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is a doggo. <coughs> Maybe the jetpack will be nicer here. So you'd want to use the jetpack um, when traveling outside of your like, main base. But then you'd use the hover pack when you're Back at home. When you have the safety of your own own home. I could probably run through this. Wires too long or even fly over it. See, that's fine. Uh, all right, we do need to jump here. So it might not, unfortunately, be very high up. Not sure if I could see the ping here. Yes, yeah, right there. Uh, let's see about getting this power line down, though. Oh, it can reach the ground here. That's nice. Yeah, we'll have to figure out a way to... ...to kind of get through this all. Mm. It might be easier to just pipe it over with, with something. Why are too long? Come on. It's gonna be too long to cross this whole thing anyway. Ooh. Unless. Oh! Got confused by this purpley stuff. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It was a mercy sphere. <laughs> I will not pick it up. I will not do it. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Nope. Your advice has been rejected. Right up here. So only the middle part needs power. Nitrogen gas, pure. Pure? I wonder if all of these up here. As in like any any uh, of these extraction points, whether they're pure or if they... If they can be of different, hmm, different ratings. Mm, 
Nitrogen gas. So we need to start off with the pressurizer. I gotta say, Fixit has some weird, weird just heck here. Alright, then these are ready to be mined out. So then you add a ex an extractor. Uh, normal extraction rate is 60, uh, 60 um, cubic meters of fluid per minute. So yeah, we'd be getting 120 for each. Um, and we got 600 to use for one pipe, so we'd get five of these. How many nodes do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? I'm gonna say eleven. I, I lost track. Um, but it seems like you can actually do like two, two pipes full from one of these. Uh, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five. Watch this being built and activated. It just doesn't really do anything, I guess. That's just like hammering down. Yeah, these don't really seem to do much. Configure. Trying really hard. Um, yeah, I guess it's just showing what's what oh um yeah so if we oh we can overclock this one oh 150 megawatts um oh it says extractors here so yeah it's 10. oh and it shows the whole whole production rate here as well so you could technically overclock this to 250 percent and get, get quite a lot of nitrogen gas out of this one place. Um, but for now, what we'll do is... Um, I guess we'll start by just creating pipeline junctions here everywhere. So I can go combine these. Different streams into one. Uh, let's try E. You can't you can't do E anymore if you put the recipe away. E gives you pumps and junctions and such. So we have 10 meters of head lift on this. Probably not gonna be enough to get this thing back home, but. At least we have a pipeline. I'm not even 100% sure how we'd get this back home anyway. Um, no, I guess we can, like, cut through here. This section. It'll possibly get us over here into the swamp. We would have to pump it up. I think the elevation stays about the same, but we'd have to pump it up um, at some point. Although, where are we even taking this? We need it for the coolant items, which I don't really know where to where we where we want this to go. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 that, that's not, that's how it works. Um, alright. Uh, I guess it's going up here, though. So... This will probably need... to have some, some, uh... 
pumps attached to it. In order to get through all of this terrain, but in general, probably be just fine. Current build mode conveyor to D. Um, there's a 3D conveyor. This one seems to be flowing just fine. Or, or sufficiently fine. Hmm, so it needs to be going kind of this way and kind of that way. One thing about the pumps I don't know is like, what, what is their range? Do they just, do they just like give the same head lift to, to like what, whatever you put in, however far away it is from the next rise, or is it a particular, particular range for it? Bash this one. Whoop. Uh, sure, if this was actually a good idea to come over here, I think we need to turn. Turn this way. Can't afford. I don't have beacons. Oh no. I need to just remember that this is the spot where it's, it's at. Hmm. Take it down or bring it up here. Have it run on this level. Uh, but that doesn't really help us in any way, though. Probably doesn't need to run down. Yeah. Needs to come in here, go to this section, the longest pipeline ever. Ah, we are underneath the train now. Let's come up through here, then I guess it runs down this way again. a little bit of poison and then it'll end up over here a 
should at least take it somewhere, though. Right. Well, that's we, we need to bring in you know, enough resources so we can build a very long pipeline. Um, well, let's take a quick break here and uh, then we'll come back and continue our construction because we're going to need that nitri nitrogen gas unless we package it. But that's going to require its own logistic system anyway, so I don't know what's going to be the smartest thing to do. B -B.
right, let's keep going then. So I think... I guess there's no real point in not uh, building the pipeline. Um, although now I'm thinking... Uh, the cooling system, like where are we... Where are we actually going to be building this? Um, <clears throat> we would have rubber and glass uh, and, and water here already. Um, back at the hub, we don't have... We don't have... Um, water. Or like we don't have it tapped. I mean, is it gonna make sense? What are these um, empty fluid tanks made out of? They're just aluminum ingots. And then you package it. Then you unpackage it. Hmm. It might actually be, now that I think of it, it might just be easiest to bring in a train. Um, then we'd have the train running in from wherever it is. The node. Uh, I think it's like... I th think it was down here. We'd have it run back through here and join this section. So we'd actually have, like, the train break off from... We could have a T, -sec T intersection here, and then just run the train that way. Honestly, that might be... the easiest way to do it after all so I'd like to have um, two pieces going from that and two pieces going from that so it would be right here where we'd start building a foundation that goes there although before I start doing this um, I should go to the to the um, aluminum factory and we should produce a bunch of those bottles. It doesn't have to be like um I guess we need to do two trains. So there's one that takes the empty ones and then there's one that takes the full ones. No, it can be one train that just goes on to different tracks and if the amount of if the amount of like aluminum um, or all those bottles is constant then it won't build the whole system up so we just need to create a like container full uh, which is I think that's the same as... It's a little bit more than a storage container. But if we do a storage container, that'll be actually... Probably good amount. Um, if we do a storage container full of those... Bottles. I'm gonna say that's the thing. Here. 
So this will stop producing those fluid tanks. Then we'd have a split from the split. Alright, and that can just keep going uh, while we build up uh, the, the train system. Do we have any... no. We're gonna need a whole bunch of concrete. It so might be worth it to just go back home and grab a... Grab an inventory full of concrete, because that's pretty much... Yeah, we, we just need to lay down the concrete right now, and then... Um, I mean, I guess after that we do need to lay down the train track as well. Maybe just empty the inventory and go for train and and concrete. We can actually probably just deal with one train, now that I think of it. If we just do two locomotives, two um, containers. That'll probably work. Let me get that on here. So we need two locomotives. We need two freight cars. Then uh, two train station and four freight platforms. Because there needs to be a loading and an unloading platform. So we need those, and then uh, the rest of the inventory can just be steel pipes, steel beams, and concrete. A few encased beams probably wouldn't hurt. But I suppose let's start off by just emptying our inventory back here at home. Pretty much everything away except for the ones that we need. Uh, we do need cable. Bacons, motors, heavy modular frame. I don't even know why I have portal miner here. Uh, I don't really need a rebar gun, actually. Read, yes. Not need the aluminum stuff now. Although, wait a minute, we should probably start the next milestone, which probably needs them. Yeah, the hover pack, actually. Um, we can just set up what it requires right now. We can grab those aluminum sheets again. Show them inside here. Alright, so we are missing, uh, yeah, beacons, which actually require, um, I never remember what beacons are. Beacon is, um, this plus wire. I mean, some basics are probably not going to be a bad idea to have around.
motos. Don't we need that many. I was going to take the exact amount that's needed. Uh, nope. Ah, what is the... Nope. What is the art key for? Oh, you hold it down. Split a stack. Uh, although we need a 40. Again, I'm trying. I'm trying. 40. Split. Grab that. Um, then we need the bacons. 10 bacons. What? I thought I picked up the wire. I was just here. Nope. I did everything except pick up the wire. Uh, 10 of these. And then a bunch of heavy modular frame. Which is one, one uh, level lower. Fifty. And then let's grab a pack of concrete. Probably the priority. Oh, we are so low on concrete. Uh, there's some more at the steel factory. Need a bunch of these for the rails. Then let's grab a bunch of steel pipe as well. Uh, the pipe is coming from here. that and the rest is going to be uh, rubber. I uh, don't need the rubber train. But yeah, the rest is going to be then. This train is really loud. The train is too loud. But then um, <laughs> we're going to just grab, grab the rest as concrete. that. This one always wants to hang out here. Uh, not that way, actually. Need to go this way. Uh, we basically just need to do the same thing we just did with the power poles, but... Just mark out instead um, the way for the train to go. I don't think I'll modify the, the intersection yet. Uh, so it's, it is pretty much this level. Well, it's, it's a little bit higher. Um, possibly, but pretty much like around this level. It is quite loud. Why is it so loud? Effects volume, I think. Drop that to 80 as well. Not sure if that actually helped. Let me turn the music up. And everything else down. Right, 
Alright, well that helped. So the more in line that you can build, the better. Yeah, I just start building something down here. Yeah, of course I did. I'm just gonna see if we can build like entirely straight here. It's not directly south, the actual thing, but... I think a little bit like south... Um, southwest. Right there. No, nope, it is. Hmm. I would call that pretty much directly south, actually. A little south. Um, let's do a 9 to here. 1, 1, 3. Too much. Let me get through these pillars here. Two, another starting from here. 1, 2, 3. Let's do a 4. 1, 2, Two, three. Gonna have to go up here. Let's switch to. Oh wait, can I just um? Do I have it here? No. Uh, the ramps are their own thing. But um. Yeah, here we can find the double ramp. We can possibly do just the smallest double ramp here. Alright, let's switch to a regular platform. Still directly south. Yep. I guess let's just keep going. We can just use lift then to bring up the stuff here. That was, a, that was a dangerous one. I guess here's the pipeline. Which is, uh, I, I suppose, going to be taken down. Uh, how do I get back up there now? Um, this is awkward. I have to run back. Didn't mean to fall. I can probably scale this. Yes. There we go. I'm back on track. As I would switch it fast enough, so I'll go with the Blade Runners. Hmm. Thinking of maybe bringing this down a little bit, but... Thank you. 
I don't know, we can just use lifts. So we better for the train. So it doesn't have to go uphill. Oh, here we are. Um, so yeah, we can do the train station pretty much anywhere here. Let's do it over here. the train stations foundation it actually took less uh, less concrete than I was expecting So this is going to be then train station. Station, uh, then we need two freight platforms. And this one will be known as Nitrogen gas. L. And here we'll have a loading station. Well, they just need to be opposite. So this will be the one that loads in fresh ones. And this is the one that takes the empty ones. And brings them back down. So we need two lifts for this. Uh, we need one that that takes the stuff down and one that brings it back up. Why is there a... Oh, somebody's captured a lizard doggo here. I think this was actually uh, me and Morgan were traveling here. Um, so... I think we can probably with level trees here I assume uh, so this was well uh, this one is the loading one right yeah so this one needs to load in while this one is the one that unloads there we go Conveyor lift. Well, not that short. Conveyor lift as far as it goes. Probably not quite enough just yet, but it's a great start. Uh, this will probably also want to have some sort of way to walk about down there to up here. I mean, no, I guess we can just have actually... Oh, the stackable conveyor pole has changed a little bit. This is the icon. It hasn't changed, yeah. It's just changed a little bit with the icon. Um, although, do I have enough? Yeah, I have enough to do this ladder. Big ladder. So, can you can start from this? Uh, I need to be wearing the right thing for this, though. Let's see if I can manage this off. Oh, it only builds upwards. This is scaffolding for this ladder. Sim. Synapsish is raiding the stream. Synapsish, hello, welcome in, welcome in, raiders. How are you? How was uh? I did see what you were playing. Uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> That's right. 
Breath of the Wild, how is that? Um, elemental reaction, frozen. That's not Breath of the Wild. That's Breath of the Waifu. Um, <laughs> welcoming Sin, welcoming Likara. How are you all? Uh, good short, only had an hour to stream today. Alright, well, that's still something. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we are checking out the new update here for Satisfactory, which just uh, just dropped in today. Um, it's still a little bit experimental. The whole game is still a little bit experimental. It's early access. It's like we, we are doing an early access patch of an early access game. So, yeah. <laughs> but we're checking out, seeing what's going on. Uh, would have been longer, but her audio issues. Ooh, what kind of audio issues do you have? Hopefully those don't stick around too long. That's always not nice. Uh, I also, I, I've had some audio issues today as well. Mostly because it's, uh, the whole a game engine has changed. So, uh, it reset all the settings in the menu and such. So all of the audio settings have changed the game, but... Other than that, everything's fine. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Thanks for... Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, and let's... Let's keep building here. Um, we're just... We're getting some nitrogen gas. Um, if, you, if you're a fan of nitrogen gas, then uh, you, you love this. Uh, we are getting some nitrogen gas out of here. I mean, I don't know. Somebody might be a fan of nitrogen gas. What is, what is nitrogen? Is, is nitrogen gas used for something in, in real life? Probably. You would imagine. Probably. Alright, there we have a cool long ladder. Yay, fun. Um, so I had originally planned to create a long pipeline. But then I came to my senses and decided that we're going to just do a train instead. Uh, you updated Windows. Well, there's your problem. And it botched all your voice meter stuff. I to honestly uninstall and reinstall voice meter and VB audio cables. Apparently there was a new op newer version of voice meter since October. You updated too. Uh, aha. Aha. Yes, um, I did notice uh, that there's actually a Windows update coming up right now. So, um, it's good to know. So, uh... I'll, I'll have to update Windows as well, but I'll know that uh, it's probably going to mess some stuff up. So, because I do need my microphone tomorrow morning, I'll probably have to do the update after that. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to be playing Final Fantasy IV. We'll, I don't know. There's nothing special about that. We're, we're playing Final Fantasy IV. We're just doing what we do. Um, but I'm excited, though. Uh, we we ended la the last Final Fantasy IV stream by wiping the whole party, so um, <clears throat> hopefully this time we can maybe get a few extra levels and things will be nice. So, so this is the empty bottles. This is the full bottles. So we need to do two packages, I suppose. Um, which I don't actually have probably the resources for, right? Yeah, we need rubber and plastic for that. Oh well, we'll get to that um, when we come back. We'll have two packages here. One packaging them and one unpackaging them. No, wait. That's not how it works. We have one packager here that packages everything. And it's just using... it's. Okay, yeah. Now, now I realize my 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 mistake. Um, you kept getting told you need to update Windows to a new version. The current version will not be supported much longer. Oh, you did the big big update. Yeah, I did that one as well. Um, yeah, it, it's the like they the the whole big update. So yeah, they they they've got some sort of smaller update uh, for me today as well. Yeah, they're like version update. But gotta get ready for work. Alright, alright. Have fun at work. And thank you for the raid. Just gonna keep building here. 
We need to get this railway going. So it's a, it's the first update uh, to Satisfactory since I bought it. Well, no, no, there's the first major update, the biggest update uh, for it. There have been like a few hot fixes, I think, and and then there was a the fluid update, which added two new structures, basically. Um, but other than that, there hasn't really been anything in about like nine months on the game, so it's quite nice to see something new. The development has been good. Here we want to bring in a short piece. And then get that curve. And bring it down. So we're still playing in the same world where we have been playing for who knows how long. Um, so everything seems to be working just fine. Uh, that you don't need to uh, start a new world. Although I'm thinking we'll probably um, we'll probably be doing that though. Yes, because. Well, not a new world, actually, just a new thing. Oh, no, 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 I again. Why am I... Why do I... Ah! Why are my numbers off? That's not how you do it. I guess it's not a long piece here, so we can... We just redo the whole thing. Needs a space of two. Yeah. Hi, Cerulean. Or, alternatively, Hi, I'm new here. I'm Du. How are you, Cerulean? Welcome in! No, don't kill me! Why would you do that, Cerulean? Why would you do that? Alright, so this needs to be the length of two foundations. And then we do the curve. I've been giving it one foundation in between, and that is not enough. That there. Do the curve. Two. Two. Then we've got a straight, straight patch all the way back home then. What are you up to, Cerulean? How is life treating you? Tell us, tell us everything. Hopefully I don't mess up the trains here, because I need to cut this whole thing for a little bit. I guess both trains headed out now, so I should be able to do this. We need to do it fast, so we need a two-piece here. Two-piece and then do the curve. Do a two piece and then the other curve. Floor is too steep. Oh no. Quickly. Can I do it from this side? Floor is too. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Too sharp a turn? No, it's not. What is going on? What the... The math. The math. It... It... 
It has failed. This is too sharp. What? Lies. Also, the music went weird. What? I don't understand what's going on. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, you can't actually have it connect. This game is... Very, very good. Please purchase it right away. But the problem is the floor is too steep here. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? I need to be able to start it from this point. I can, I can connect this. But... Saying floor is too steep. Can you not build these anymore? Also, seriously, what's wrong with the music? Oh boy. It's looking bad. Hmm. But I was able to build it from this spot. Yeah, this, this works. So what am I supposed to be doing here then? I mean, technically we don't need the train track to go that way. If we just have it go in this one spot. I guess we'll just leave it at that then. Um, I have no idea what the music is doing. It's, it's like cutting in and out. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose that's, how, that's just how it's gotta be then. Um, we have the water is over that way. I guess it doesn't really play into anything here. Um, uh, we're gonna need to add the new train stations, I think, on this end. So we need one, two, three... Oh well, we're just adding one station. remove the train tracks from underneath the train. It'll get mad. Or rather, it'll just break. Right. Uh, then we grab a train station. And two freight platforms. go and this station is going to be oh now I need to actually remember which is which though
I'm gonna say that the one in the back was the unloading one. So this is gonna be loading and this is gonna be unloading. And this is gonna be called... What is it? Nitrogen gas U uh, for this one. Hmm. So we're going to need to bring in rubber, the heat sinks, uh, rubber and water. We can call upon those from from there, and then I guess we'll just build a water extractor and bring it up through here. So we could have it as an extension of the iron factory, actually. So let's look at... Uh, Conveyor belt. Hmm. Perhaps an extension right here. This is more about just the production of the nitrogen gas or the management of it. Doesn't really need to be all that special and big. Just somewhat functional. Let's bring it all the way in here. And then we can do some some uh, lifts here. Enough. Is it enough? Oh, just barely. Alright, uh, so this is um, unloading. So we'll do... Just update my conveyor belts. Uh, so it unloads here, and this one loads here. Conveyor belts down here, conveyor lifts, rather. So, and then it first goes into, I need this, the stuff for a packager, some rubber and then some uh, rubber and plastic are back here. I think it was just like a pack of rubber and pack of plastic, right? For a packager. And some steel. Alright, so we'll start off with the packager here. It'll be grabbing... It'll be taking in this stuff. Um, we're about three. Invalid shape. right there um, and could be about three might be overkill but that's what I've got right now and it'll be unpacking uh, nitrogen gas and then it takes this for a loop
Ooh. Like so. And then it pushes out uh, so, um, nitrogen gas from that. And then we can use it over here. Um, but let's get this whole, th whole system working first. Uh, with the uh, things being moved around. So let me first start off by building the train. And then we can use that to go back uh, where we came from. So train, 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 train. Uh, locomotive. So this is going to be a double... A double uh, locomotive train, though, so it'll be one unit longer than the other trains here. There we go. So, this will be um, nitrogen gas, and it'll autopilot from nitrogen gas L to nitrogen gas U. Um, although we can't actually use this, unable to reach next star, which is nitrogen gas L. Why would you be unable to reach that? Let's go manual. It shouldn't have any problems reaching that. Hey, strange. But yeah, we need to go to the aluminum first, though. I mean, I guess we can take this train there. Maybe it can path in through here. I don't know. Sometimes the trains are a little bit weird. Stop. All right, let's see. Do we have a good amount of these? Hmm, could be more. But I guess we could do like two, two packages of it. Uh, so these are supposed to be in the back of it. Yeah. Throw those in there and try and get into the right locomotive here. This one. Let's see if it can make it now. It can, right? Because that side's not going to require much anything other than just the packaging in there. As long as the train has its bottles, it will be fine. I wonder if it can't, like, do that sharp S turn. Maybe. I guess we'll have to figure that out. To that end, I'm not going to leave it on autopilot just yet. I'll turn it off as we make a stop here. Off. 
Um... This is a loading station. It's... It is the wrong way around. I'll just... Well... Well... I'll just... I'll just put it in here. And then just to simulate it, I'll do this. I guess it's not actually doing the thing? Why not? There we go. So now we have the empty packages going down here. And then we need... Build the packager. Uh, which is going to be built. Um, just do it this way around. Um, I'm not sure if we have the head lift for this. Uh, let's bring it from here. We might need slightly more head lift for this. And that one comes in and that one goes in there. These empty bottles go in. Let's see, is it coming? Yep. And this package is nitrogen gas. Oh, it also needs power. Uh, so... Oh, that actually makes the whole ground shake a little bit. Whenever it hits that. There we go. Now it's starting to package it up. And then we have a conveyor belt going this way. And boom. They're packaging our nitrogen. Hmm. I don't see why not just overclock this to... I mean, it's going to use a little bit more power, but we'll be able to do the whole job quicker. Not sure if it's gonna need it for this, but maybe. Maybe we'll need it for the whole thing. At least we won't need to worry about this being a bottleneck here. So I'll just bottle those. Um, maybe we'll use another package actually of empty bottles so that the train always has empty bottles going in it. And um, yeah. Give it a new set. We'll do an industrial buffer on the other side. Don't think this one needs any sort of buffer. Doc. Gonna grab some of that stuff. Let's give it autopilot. See if it'll be able to get back home. It sometimes might be that it's just like it's slightly confused when you create it first. Unable to reach next stop. I don't know what is wrong with it. Let's go back to that um, intersection and see that it does have... I mean, it's... It worked this way, so... Doesn't make sense why it wouldn't work the other way. Hmm. The only reason I can think of is that it would not be able to do that S turn, but... I mean... I'm pretty sure I've had trains do that before. And like, I'm able to manually drive it here, so... I just don't get what the problem is. Oh! Oh! I do think this is broken. Yeah. This one is actually broken. I think here, if we turn the autopilot on, it'll actually be able to do it. 
Um, yeah, this, this intersection is actually broken, I think. The one on this side, it's not showing the rail switch. Yeah, like any sort of intersection always needs to show this uh, rail switch on it, if it's working. So this one isn't showing it, I'm not sure why. Might break the whole train system though. So if not floor is too steep, yeah. I think the new update, engine update, I don't know which one it is, but something has broken this. Something has caused some breakage, which means that our whole train system is now not working. Which is awesome. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. That actually... That... That... Yeah. That is not good. It is working every now and then. On certain pieces. But then it's giving the floor is too steep for others. This might be... This might spell the end of it all. I fear, because uh, this whole factory is reliant on the railway. Hopefully I can build this. Too steep. Oh wait. Maybe if we just make this wider. Maybe that's the problem. No, floor is too steep. Well, I mean, theoretically, you can just be here and uh, stand here and rebuild these things every five minutes. And that'll fix it all. Floor is too steep. That's the problem because we need to be able to do the... Do the piece of rail that goes just straight. But also the one that goes... <laughs> the railroad track has a too sharp turn. And the floor is too steep. The floor is... The floor is completely level here, and also the rail track is going entirely straight. So, hmm. It's not looking too good. I don't know why that one location works though. Like this works, but we need the direct connection here as well. Otherwise, the bauxite train's not going to be able to work. Ah. Oh no. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Yeah, now it's working actually, that one. Um, I suppose... Wait. Wait a minute. I 
Has it... Wait. Has it not been doing any auto saves? Um... Where's the auto save? Does experimental not auto save a game? Because I was thinking of just rolling back to the moment when this was still working. That's very bad. Because I can't think of a way to actually make this work reliably. We'd need a way for our train to go forward here. And then that's gonna break this whole intersection. Ah. The train system in this game could just be so, so much better. Oh, what is this train even? What are you and why don't you work? Aluminum scrap, yeah. Wait, aluminum scrap is going to... Aluminum scrap L, which should be... You should be able to go there. Unless it broke the whole... Yeah, this isn't showing up as an intersection. I think it might have broken this one as well. Oh no. Oh no. Not like this. trying to think of some way for us to like build around this now the whole whole oil factory is cut off and so so is aluminum steel is pretty much the only thing that's working with this setup I mean, hmm. Hmm. That's really super too bad. I mean, the, the packager works. So we might be able to do some coolant so that we can do some uh, so we can create the create a hover pack and we'll at least have done something new here today well in addition to the zip line the zip line was cool but I'd like to get actually something proper so um, I'm just gonna go to the to the aluminum factory to pick up those um, aluminum casings. So we'll need a bunch of casings um, for those radio control units. Yeah. And then we'll be able to build a power pack. 
Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, let's see, how many casings do we have? Uh, I imagine that would be enough. Just in case it's not, I'm going to leave some concrete here. Place it with casings. And hopefully we'll be able to do that. I mean, I wasn't expecting everything to work perfectly in terms of, like, compatibility with an old save, but this isn't really about a compatibility issue either. It's just that the train railway system has been broken. Well, I mean, I don't know if the ability to create these intersections was ever... Well, it certainly is built in, but not necessarily like this sort of intersection. I don't know. Very unfortunate that it is not working. I think they just need to like, they just need to make the rail, the, they, the whole railway system just needs like proper overhaul needs to be better. Um, okay, so let's start off by just doing this packager thing. Um, so we, we're going to need a manufacturer here. And we're also going to need um, a water extractor. At least one. I'm going to fly these aluminum casings over here. And then let's do the other stuff. So we're going to need some reinforced iron plate. Need some rotors. Some motors. Uh, heavy modular frame, cable. Yeah, and rotors. Grab cable. Oh. No, for a moment I thought that they had added a, a sign to this, but no. That's really something I'm super, super surprised that they haven't done yet in the game. Is just like add signs. Like what is, what, like why? Why do signs not exist? It seems like it would be like one of the most basic things that you would have in a game like this. If Minecraft has it, then uh, everything should have it. Uh, we're gonna need some rotors from here. There we go. We're able to get the manufacturer going. So we'll bring the water up from uh, over here. So I mean, I don't... The way, the way it's going, uh, this, th this whole thing is going to break, actually. It's not going to be able to produce the power. Um, so I think we'll, we'll, we'll just have to go for the New Game Plus idea then. Um, also, it's not a manufacturer, it's a, it's a blender that we need. So we need aluminum casings and we need a few of those uh, control units. That's right. I, was, I, was, I started thinking like, wait a minute, where do I put those, those fluids in, in a manufacturer? But yeah, I think next time we'll just have to go with the new game plus. Unfortunately. Uh, so don't do a manufacturer, but rather a blender. 
So we need five radio control units. Uh, crystal oscillators. Where are my crystal oscillators? Hmm, we don't have enough of these crystal oscillators actually to do the whole thing, I, I just realized. Oh no. Oh no. I am devastated. We need one for each. We're gonna need 75 more of these. Oh boy, it's gonna be, gonna be rough. Ah, no, 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 no. It's two per, two per craft, so yeah, it's not that bad. It is still bad, but not that bad. Alright, but before we start crafting, handcrafting anything more, we'll go and uh, finish what we started here. And uh, finish the blender, because it needs to be blending around those coolant units for a few whiles here. So, Blender has, um, yeah, okay, okay, I see. It has four inputs and two outputs. We're gonna need all four inputs, I think, but only one of the outputs. Encased uranium cells are now produced here, so they require sulfuric acid Oh, the ho so the whole uranium process... Well, that actually... Wait a minute. I want to go and check on our nuclear power plant because I don't know how that's going to be working <laughs> after these changes. Um, batteries are also produced here now. Um, fused modular frame as well. Um, but what we are interested in is, is the cooling system. Used to keep temperatures at fast parts and buildings from exceeding to inefficient levels. Weird way of phrasing it. Um... So we need to bring the nitrogen gas, first of all. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Pipeline. Can't afford. Gotta go for some sheets. So, you know, actually because everything here is going to be breaking maybe we'll just maybe maybe we'll sink it all i don't know <laughs> like what's the what's the point in keeping this going because it's gonna grind to a halt at some point anyway because it's gonna not be able to do anything so, i don't know that might be the that might be the fate of this place well I think about it because also like this um it affects the performance of the whole um, game world if there's a lot of machines going on somewhere. Not that we've really been up against... Well, last time we did come up against some some problems, but I think that was just local. Um, Alright, we need power in here. I'm gonna grab power from this train station. Uh, so we'll, we'll blend this. We have the is this unpowered? Just grab some power from, from this train station then. Right, so that's gonna start unloading these. I'll also give this a full, full boost so it can unload um, at maximum speed. Uh, then it's gonna need water. Let's get a pipeline. Push it all the way down here. And need a few, a few boosters. It will clip. I've, I've given up on this, this world. Uh, I didn't check how much what I'd wanted. I guess we could, we can do just like three extractors then, for maximum. If I can fit three in here, yeah, I probably can. Uh, 
We'll just use trees so we can maximize the pipeline here. Um, wait a minute, the tree isn't enough for that. Uh, it would be six, so yeah, let's overclock these. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for pipeline mark two. Combo that. Oh, I guess we can do. Yeah, we can do a cross, cross from here. Here. Then back to pipeline mark two. This only needs to be mark one at, at these sections, but you know me, I like to throw in a little, little bit of extra. Uh, so yeah, let's overclock these 200 then. Or so they produce 200 rather than 200% though. Start of production 200, 166.7%. Two hundred and two hundred. All right. Uh, oh, power them up. Power, power, power. Give them a singular pole for all of them. At least the nuclear power plants haven't crashed yet. Um, I think it's because we have, we did have quite a lot of nuclear fuel rods actually in storage when when um, I left it off. Uh, so I think we have a good amount. Um, now we're gonna need some pumps here. So let's just do pump twos. Uh, oh, we we need encased industrial beams and motors. I'll go grab those. from the factory. Um, in here, right? Yes. Case industrial beams. And also, I guess we might, uh, at the same time, we might start bringing in those. We're bringing the, the um, what are they called? The 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 the, the heating, which are not on this level, but the next one. So I'll pipe out the heat sinks. Through the doorway, of course. Why not? Just like we're we're going we're going full full on lippage here. Don't care about anything. Uh, it's going to need to be a little bit longer here. There we go. Uh, then it's going to need rubber and also these pumps. So let's do Mark II pumps. Oh yeah, I didn't get the motor. Well, we can probably do it with just these pumps, actually. The Mark IIs are pretty, pretty powerful. How far does this go? It stops here. Hopefully this can then push it on. Max. I'm hoping. Right, it's pumping over here. 
pumping over here. Looking pretty good. Is it making it all the way up top? It... It is, it is, all right. Um, so yeah, then we just need to bring pipe in the rubber as well. So I can just steal that from here. Um, let's say let's just break this one. Uh, yeah, this one isn't actually being used. Well, I'll, I'll pull it from here. too steep. There we go. Now it's got everything. Um, I'm just going to overclock this as well. Why not? Uh, so it's producing 15 per minute, maybe. Um, I mean, it's got probably all of these. Well, 375 nitrogen gas per minute, not necessarily, but otherwise uh, probably going to be quite fine. Hmm. I mean, maybe. Maybe. And uh, then it's going to push those out into a box. Storage container right here. Right. Well, those are actually going to be produced faster than these radio control units, now that I think of it. So, uh, we should get on that. So, we're going to need 100 of these. We can produce four. We need uh, computers. We're going to need... Um, we need 50 computers, and then the rest is going to be those uh, aluminum casings. Hopefully we have enough aluminum casing here to do it. Otherwise we'll have to go for one more trip to the aluminum factory. 50 computers. I mean, I imagine the actual equipment item is probably going to require it as well. Did I leave them in here? Yep. There we go. Let's hope this is enough. Huh? Wait a minute. Do player characters just like hang out at the hub now? And sit down and drink coffee? That's weird. I know I, I recall seeing somebody who was... Um, Somebody had a character down here. Somewhere down here. Yeah, in here. Oh, okay. Alright, so now now uh, players who aren't present, their characters actually sit down and, and just drink coffee instead of just tea posing there. This is a nice small update as well. Um, so this is, should be now enough. 108. Yeah. Alright. Because this is going to take a while. Let's take a quick break. Wait until we have a hundred of these and then we'll come back. Yep. See you soon. Be a...
Alright, well it's still going. <laughs> it's still going, but... Soon. I imagine we'll probably need some radio control units for the actual uh, equipment. Just... 17 more. 24 is really slow. Um, we should have a manufacturer do this. But of course right now then we can't. Can't get any quartz in here. Um, it'll be really nice if I was able to somehow like... If I would be able to scrounge up enough resources so that we can get... Drone base is working, and we'd be able to use the drone system to avoid using any trains. I don't know if that's going to be possible, though. Right, and there we go. Throw those in there, and then let's go and grab those coolant units if nothing else these like hover hover packs are going to be quite the invaluable 18 what is wrong what is wrong huh oh nitrogen gas yeah it's out of gas He was only able to produce 18 with that? Oh no. The thing is packing on un unpacking, but... But... I hope the actual train is still working. It seems so, unless... Wait, it's getting, it's getting mixed up. How is this? Wait. No, stop, 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 stop. What is going on? How is it getting mixed up? Come on, come on, come on, train. I hate these satisfactory trains. They are so... like, this braking is just absolutely terrible. Trying to go one way. You know what, we're gonna give the autopilot the... You, you go back to the U. No, back to the U. Wrong, no, no, incorrect. Wrong station. Why is it? All right. Well, we'll we're gonna figure out what's wrong on this side then. Trains, trains. They are terrible. If this is actually going to take ages, then I don't know. Don't know. But I was thinking of feeding more aluminum um, bottles into this, but if the whole system is broken, then I don't really know what to do. This is the empty bottles, yeah. They are supposed to be right here. And we have the empty bottles over here. 
nope, 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 just shut off. So it also didn't unload this. Because this is loading. This is the one that needs to be loaded. Why is there nothing to be loaded? Why is this one not working? That seems to be the problem. Why is this not... No power? Did our whole power system break? Oh, did the nukes go down? I... Well... But no. Then why is... Why is the train still working? That that doesn't make sense. It, it must be, it must be just uh, an issue with this place. Let's see if the train station has power in it. Oh, is one of the is the plastic station completely out of power as well? Yeah. Right. Well, that explains a lot. That is too bad. Right, well now this is packaging. It still doesn't quite explain how there can be mixed items in the train. Unless they're the wrong way around. They are like, they are, hmm see now. Yeah, they are inverse of each other. This is doing the package gas as it should. This is emptying bottles as it should. Let me grab this stuff from here. No idea how they could have gotten mixed up. Uh, so these go in here and actually I'll just, yeah, I'll just hand feed this all of these nitrogen bottles. There's this one. Now let's go to the next station. Let's go. Hmm. That was too bad that we lost power there. It must be because the train to the rubber is now somehow considered to be disconnected. Maybe it is actually disconnected. No? I mean, look at the train tracks. They are... They are there. Why is the game so broken? Oh no. Okay, so we have full stuff in the back. Full stuff in the back. It should be unloaded into this one. Are these the wrong way around? Yes, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. This train station is misconfigured. Let's place it in station here. There we go. Uh, yeah, these were just like 
flipped the wrong way around. That's load and that's unload. This one needs to be unloaded and this one needs to be loaded with... No, wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? This is getting loaded over there. And then it's unloaded here. And this one is the wrong way around. Whew, how was I able to misconfigure this so bad? That is certainly not how it's supposed to go. Like that. Like that. We'll do this side first because it's the one that's relevant right now. Uh, I need to dock on the other side. A little dock and then autopilot on. Alright. I've, yeah, I've no idea what happened here. Oh, I, I feel like I still need to go and check on the other place. Just to make sure that it's not messed up. I must have just gotten the colors mixed up again. So that goes there. And gets deleted. And then the empty one's going here. Alright, so while we wait while we wait for this to produce some more, um, I'm gonna go to the aluminum factory and grab some more bottles. We'll feed those into the other place, and then, then this, this production should be done. Just run, run, run. Um, I could technically take a train, but usually trying to get them to work around the work around these uh, intersections is oftentimes not really worth it. But I think the intersections are configured correctly right now, so uh, we can get to the new station at least. Switches. I'll probably just abandon this train here. I'll give it all a pellet if it ever decides to work again. Then let's grab some bottles. Um We'll go with this amount of bottles then. Uh, oh, it made it to where it's supposed to be. Let's take it back. It'll be faster to move around with this. So I suppose we'll have to say goodbye to this world then, or this, this like, build. Not the world, we'll continue in this one, but this, um, build that we got. We'll have to start anew, I think, in, in the, in the green zone.
Green Hill Zone is where we'll, we'll live next. I'll make sure that we have like a few hover packs so we can everybody can have some hover packs to work with. So they do drain uh, the power system, but I suppose as long as we have a solid source of power, it doesn't really matter. What I am interested in knowing is whether it can um, siphon off of the power lines or the, or the uh, train lines. Because technically the power is running through this uh, rail here. I'm not really sure like how or where. Is it maybe this, these like side, line, uh, side rail things that carry the power? Regardless, something here is powering the trains and also pushing the power to different train stations. Let's do a cool jump. Ooh. I mean, I guess I don't actually, <laughs> I didn't actually need to jump. I wanted to check up here. Can I make it to the ladder or die? Oh, oh, yes. No splat. The train is hopefully here to here to um actually load slash unload. Whoa 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 whoa. Okay, hopefully I can make it in time before it leaves because I want to grab the train. I'm gonna stop it. Stop the autopilot so it doesn't leave. Please. Autopilot off. There we go. Uh, Alright, so it seems like it's doing the right thing here. Yeah, it's packaging nitrogen gas here and pushing in the empty bottles here. Maybe we just need more empty bottles. That's that's really the issue here. The system doesn't have enough empty bottles to keep, keep it running. Um, why is it not producing any? Hello. Hello. There we go. Are they coming in? All right. So yeah, now it's working, working correctly. I guess. Yeah. I just got confused with, with the whole place. All right. Let's go. At least this train works, because otherwise this would be just terrible if we had to just go with with the um, if we had to manually move this around, it'd be a little bit too much. I guess in the future we just have to use circuits for trains. Um, trains can only be on, on like a single track can only take trains in one direction and and there needs to be circuits around. You can't do double doubles, all sorts of stuff like that. Unfortunately. Okay, let's see if this is produced enough now. Yes. Oof. That is good. I feared for the worst, but we got lucky. Uh, now we gotta have a pack. All right, Edo, give us the give us the good news. Oh, hit the button. Launch pod. I'm hitting it. There we go. 
I don't think I'm Milestone locked. reached. The hover pack enables aerial overview of all powered factories as well as easy transport across multi-level buildings by wirelessly connecting to the power grid. Mm-hmm. And also upgrade to our uh, inventory space. Um, leading edge production... Yeah, I guess we need to unlock leading edge production to get particle enrichment. Um, I would be interested in, like, the particle accelerator as well. But I don't think this this factory is not going to be able to do it. We just don't have enough stuff going on. <laughs> Won't be able to do it. Uh, that does remind me, though. Uh, can you actually do the place elevator now? That you have the pr project parts. Yeah. The final phase of early access. Employee of the planet. Delivery will unlock a small reward in the awesome shop. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't sound too exciting. Four thousand of these and one thousand of those. I mean, numbers don't really matter because it's always going to just be about time. You have resources. You have infinite resources, so it's all about time. Um, all right, let's see. Hover pack is going to require motors. It's going to require alcohol aluminum sheet. Oops. And radio control units. Yay! Uh, eight, eight radio control units. Oh. Oh, no. We need more, more computers for this. Uh, do we have any computers in here? Computer, computer, computer. 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 So, I mean, I suppose that also, like, confirms that this is going to be the final update before 1.0, right? Oh, well, not necessarily the final up update, but the, this is... It's, it's coming. It's on its way. Uh, motors was also something we needed, so we can pick those up as well. Uh, I don't know if heavy module frames probably weren't a thing, but... I'll just pick some up just to make sure. Um, some of that. Why is there some alien characters here? Been dropping some stuff. But yeah, if it, it's saying like this is the end of early access. Interesting sure all right so also 40 of those sheets but let's make eight of these radio controllers that ain't much we do the hands-free trick so we'll also need to an endless amount of turbo motors and everything again like we have in we have turbo motor recipe here even though we haven't researched it i have no idea how this thing is supposed to work uh hold on how many do we oh we have already well enough okay and then we need those aluminum sheets i think we had some in here um um here we go Thirty hits for a hover pack. Put it on. Um, so here it doesn't work because um, I don't have any wires going around here. But as we move closer to these wires, it should start working. Let's see, I think those are the, like the closest wires. Yeah, so this seems to be... Need to configure what? Oh. Oh. That's quite a little range on, on movement. Um... It is giving like a warning that, hey, you're, you're about to leave the network. 
It is showing whenever you like connect to a new node. Sort of. Kinda. Well, I mean, this is just absolutely awesome. This is this is the way way of the future. The bad thing is that. Oh, oh, oh no 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 yeah yeah. The bad thing is that if you if you do. Oh, you can go faster as well. Hey, no way. Welcome in. How how are you doing? Uh, but yeah, the problem is if you if you leave the Wi-Fi, then it just drops you, and that's that's just gonna hurt. No. No, in fact, no. If you hold down, let's let's try, let's try, let's try. This way, there's no power. Aha! Uh -huh, yes. If you hold down space, it actually just hovers you down. So you can you can use this as a glider. A very very bad glider, but a glider nonetheless. And then you go back into the system and it works again. Yeah, this is the this is the vehicle that you want, or the or the equipment like this. This just this surpasses everything. I guess um, Blade Runners are still possibly going to be faster. I don't know. This is going pretty fast. Blade Runner might be faster. Um, it is connecting to these train stations. Which makes me think that it requires like something that can be connected. So that would make me think that indeed the uh, train tracks are not going to be able to support us. They are! Yes! Alright, well, there you have it. Get a hover pack and you need nothing else in life. Let's go and check out on that that uh, nuclear power plant. <laughs> um, I'm kind of scared about that situation. It's going to implode at some point. Um, so let's go find out about that. But yeah, this is this is the way of the future. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is this is what you want. Been scouring the planes in my Solga for the Yagluf locator. Can't find the damn thing. Found him though. Yeah, I mean that that's what happened for me as well. I was looking for for the locator and fa just found the found the actual shrine. Um, it's I don't know. Is this? Let's 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 see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is this faster than using the Blade Runners? Try to get a get a gauge on this speed here. I think it's I think it's the same speed. Which really makes everything else all the other equipment obsolete. KK with the hydrate, thank you. How you doing? Welcome in as well. <laughs> this train is glitching out here. Hmm. I like it. So this was, um, how much was this using? It's using quite a little. Uh, 100 megawatts, yeah. So, I mean, technically in like a very early game base, that's a lot, but... Um, I mean, it's it's equivalent to, to like, um... It's a equivalent to well a resource well pressurizer uh yeah it's it's like it's very very um you know, compared to a machine it is two manufacturers worth of 
power, so it is not cheap, but considering you'll only have one going on, it's, it's not that bad. Yeah, this is this is the way of the future, though. I suppose if you're outside your electrical network, then uh, you'll probably want to rather have uh, the Blade Runners um, or the Jetpack or both. Uh, so, so when exploring, this is not going to be good, but when hanging out at your factory, this is certainly the way to go. All right, we seem to have some green going on in there still. A whole package of green. That's good. Let's do a hover here. Yeah, the hover isn't... It's, it's it's not a paraglider or anything, but... At least it lets you survive. Um, this is probably actually going to get a little bit spicy here, so... We probably should get... Down out of range of anything spicy and... Yep, 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 yep. Spice, spice. The big spice. Oof. Oof. Stay away from the spice. Oof, 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 oof. Alright, let's go in here. Because here we have, um, I placed the hazmat suit here. If one needs to come in and do some maintenance on the nuclear factory. So let's see what's going on here. Um, I mean, I don't see any reason to hook up the extra factories though plus we need to add some more water extractors up there for that um let me just go check up on our fuel rods how we're doing mm -hmm. okay we're we're like we don't have endless amount of fuel rods let's say that um But I guess what this means is that we'll be able to use this power power system. I mean, we're going to be able to use the oil power at least uh, indefinitely, but but this nuclear power as well, we'll be able to be use this for for some time, but it's not going to work forever. So um, we'll be able to enjoy it for a little while. Uh, then it's probably going to zap everything, and we need to just build a whole whole ton of uh, power plants to to uh, replace the nuclear power. All right, I uh, shouldn't be using up our filters. But yeah, this whole place is just, you know, built up to... Um, wait a minute, is this not producing? What's wrong here? Oh, I think this is actually full. Yeah, 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 this is the problem. This needs to be flushed every now and then. Um, so an upgrade to the whole system would be to... to actually... Um, get a packager in here. Uh, full pipe network flush, please. There we go. I mean, the buffer's gonna take quite a while to fill up, but... Yeah. Probably should get a packager here, because then it's gonna be able to produce a lot longer. It will break at some point, but because it's not gonna be getting enough control rods. That's like the main main issue with this. Um, it is also producing a fair amount of nuclear waste here. And the waste buffer isn't absolutely endless. It's, it's quite nice, but it's not endless. Let's go and see how the waste buffer is doing. I mean, yeah, I wonder if, uh, actually, we use the nuclear <coughs> nuclear waste now for those final tier stuff things. Let's see how we're doing. Yep, this one's full. And this one's almost halfway. I mean, we still have quite a lot of those, but... But yeah, it's not gonna go, go on forever. Hold on. <laughs> Hold up a moment. 
Hold on. One second. Um. Um. Uh. Um. Why is our arachnophobia mode not on? Oof. It really did reset everything, so I should have known. I did like that. It was supposed to say meow. Not terrible spider noises. Right, uh, let's put, put, a, put the suit back in. Oof. Suit and filters. Right. Well, I mean... I mean, I mean... Oh, no. Spicy. 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 Spice levels increasing. Spicy. Spicy. Stop the spice. There we go. The spice has ended. But yeah, I mean, uh, you can then like get up to this high from where you where you are. Get a good look at this nuclear power plant. Probably how much this. Nuclear power plant in the. In the darkness of night. Oh, you get the you get the other thing here. Oh, is it showing some sort of extra information here, I wonder? On this side. I'm not sure. Anyways, there we have it, some nuclear power. Uh, but I guess that's that's update 4 uh, I need to actually manually save I remember now because it's not doing auto saves but yeah that's update 4 for us I suppose we'll continue it uh, next time so unfortunately it got a little bit anticlimactic with the train system breaking, but at least we got to see the hover, hover, and that's working fine. Um, so yeah, I think the next time uh, our plan is to actually go and go and uh, do just start a new base with what we have uh, already unlocked. Yeah, so that's it. That's that's the stream. Um, let's go see who we can raid. Uh, tomorrow we'll be playing Final Fantasy IV, as I said. Uh, we'll hopefully be able to get to the get to the Giant of Babel without um, Tower of Babel without uh, getting into trouble. But um, <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be good. Uh, then on Thursday we'll continue Valheim. Uh, Friday we'll do Final Fantasy IV. Uh, Saturday is music, and Sunday is Halo 3 ODST. Whatever that means. Um, Oh, and we have a birthday stream. What? Didn't? Hmm. I thought Hi Selena already had a birthday stream just recently, but I guess not. So let's go in there and let's say, let, let's uh, congratulate Hi Selena on on a lovely birthday. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> so thanks everyone for joining in and bye.